Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. This is my first dev stream in a million fucking years, and I'm really excited to, to get back to it. Uh, for those who don't know, I, uh, I've been working on a Minecraft game mode for a couple of years now, and uh, maybe just a year. I don't remember how long. Uh, it's been a while, and uh, it's something I've, I'm very passionate about. I'm very excited about. Um, but I had a, just a string of cataclysmic events. <laughs> like there's no other way to put it. Cataclysmic events. I had my own apocalypse, you could say. Um, just a, just a whole bunch of shit that went down and it, uh, it stopped me from working on this for a long time. And it also got me a little bit of a, I, I had a bit of a, a, a mental block because every time I would start working on this again, uh, something terrible would happen, like actually life alteringly terrible. It was a bad string of situations. Um, but over the past week, I, I think I finally moved past that, um, you know, bar barring some other horrible <laughs> traumatic event happening in the next few days. Um, over the past little while, I've, I've kind of been able to push past that. Uh, and I've been working on it again, and I'm so, so excited. Like, I've just, I've been, I've been so in the zone and so passionate again, and it's really, like, I feel more alive the past week than I have in, in, in months. It, it's great. It's really good. And so we're going to do a, a dev stream today. That's, that's what today is all about. I'm going to be working on something fairly simple, but also something that's, that's fairly important to me. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a UI element today. Um, custom UI elements uh, are, are difficult for me because... As I've said in previous streams, if you've been here for a previous stream, you know this, for the previous dev stream, rather. Uh, my, uh, Apocalypse has no mods. Uh, this is a mod-free Minecraft server. This is something you could join in, I've always said, on, on, on a library computer, on like a school computer. If you could get Minecraft on it, you can join this server. Uh, and the way that's going to be done is with uh, plugins and resource packs. Uh, so all of that, just you can run vanilla Minecraft and you can join and it'll work just fine. Uh, I've spent the past week doing some tune-ups because there was one little detail for a while that was um, unfortunate. Uh, the, the system I was using to have custom models and custom animations, uh, it used armor stands. And armor stands are, long story short, without getting into the technicalities, limited to 20 frames per second. Anything I made was limited to 20 frames per second. But uh, that plugin updated and allowed for p perfectly smooth animations with your custom models without any mods, but it also required me to update the entire server up a Minecraft version up to 1.19.4. It was on 1.19.3 before. And that was a, a whole nightmare. I, I finally got through it. Um, some stuff is still broken. I have to go back and fix, but uh, the, the, the vast majority of things are functional, uh, which I'm very happy about. So today, let me go ahead and pull up the game and uh, kind of explain what the plan is uh so if you've been on a dev stream you you know this area quite well um i've, I've gotten very like attached to this little chunk of land because this is where i do all my testing but this is not where we're going to be hanging out today we're actually going to be working on something in the hub dimension which uh is all kinds of messy right now so to kind of reiterate what this server is what this game mode is it's a it's a extraction looter uh, kind of inspired by stuff like Tarkov and Mind Z, funnily enough. If you ever played Mind Z back in the day, there's a lot of inspiration being pulled from there as well. And one of the things I wanted was uh, every player to have their own uh, base, right? Their own, their own like base. So you know, building is going to be disabled on this server by default because uh, it's it's going to be that kind of style. Uh, but you're going to have this little plot of land that you could build in. And the original idea, well, the original idea I presented was these little plots. Basically, you would right click a plot. It would become yours and only you could build there. And, and that was going to be the idea. Um, however, uh, it's stupid and I hate it and it's bad. So we're not doing this anymore. Okay, TNT is disabled in this dimension, so that wasn't as dramatic as I was hoping. Um, and you see that thing in the sky, it's actually it's actually a little bit of a hint as to what our solution is going to be here. Um, Chad, have you heard of Skyblock? See, there's, there's a very popular Minecraft game mode is Skyblock. And essentially, it's you, you, you live on a little island in the sky... And that's all you have to work with, and your goal is to build out. Now, this Minecraft uh, little game mode got very popular. And as such, there is a lot of plugins that support Skyblock, specifically uh, unique islands for every single player. You might 
kind of see where I'm going with this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a command here. I'm going to do slash island, and it's going to teleport me to my base. There's there's two here. This is this will get fixed. Um, this is my base. As you see, I can't walk off the edge. Uh, and this is what every single player is going to have. You get a crafting table. You get one one little uh, chest. This is going to the, the visuals for this are temporary. Uh, but this is the idea. You have a little a little plot of land to work with. And then if I uh, do this command, we're back in the hub. But that's clunky. I don't want people to have to do slash island every single time and then slash MVT teleport yourself. That's that's so clunky, right? Uh, so I so that's not what's happening. Uh, you click this, boom. You click this, boom. Beautiful, right? Extremely smooth. Uh, the way this is done is with a, uh, a, a, a plugin called item join, which, uh, among other things, allows you to create UI elements, uh, in your, in your inventory. As I've shown off before with the quest items, this is, this is something I implemented a while back. Um, this is the quest backpack, right? That you can open at any time. So yeah, there's a quick button to teleport here and it only works when you're in here. I mean, I, I think I can use it out here. Yeah, I can cause then I'm an admin, but if I hang on. If I deop myself, it shouldn't now. Fuck! I can't teleport when I'm not an op. Hang on, <laughs> hang on. That'll all get ironed out. But uh, this is the testing realm. But if I go here, if I'm not opt, I don't think I can use this. I totally can. Okay, well I'll fix that later. You know what? We'll fix that today. Actually, um, I'll fix that today. Sucks! Hi! Oh, I gotta restart the whole spiel. <laughs> 126 people i just explained everything hi socks hi 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 i hope you're all having a good day i just finished well okay i was halfway through explaining so you know what it's not the worst time to raid if you were like five minutes later then i would have to run it back okay okay let's start from the beginning hi my name is sophie baby and i'm developing a minecraft extraction looter it's called apocalypse uh name pending i might change it and uh i it's very important to me uh, I've done a bunch of Minecraft uh, dev streams before. I've done a, a, a good handful of them. Uh, long story short, this is a, a sort of Tarkov-inspired, Mine-Z-inspired extraction looter that is in development. Uh, it has a bunch of cool... I have to re opt myself because I was in the middle of testing something. Hang on. Um, I, 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 it has a bunch of custom stuff. A bunch of custom stuff, like custom monsters, custom weapons, uh, custom combat. And I re revamped combat. Hang on. Uh, if I get myself an uh, iron sword, then you can see with this zombie over here. Oh, he's looking around. He's all, he's all, he's running. He's running. He found me because I was sprinting because there's a fucking stealth system, which I thought was broken, but it's working now. That's awesome. And I do the combat and it, I've got, I've got, I've got a three hit combo, as you can see. It's awesome. Uh, right now, today, we're working on the base system. So originally, uh, when I first pitched Apocalypse, what was going to happen is this here you would get this is a class if you've played minecraft servers back in the day you know what this is this is a plot and i was gonna have plots um because building is disabled in the main world in in the extraction looter world right otherwise uh it would be very hard to balance so uh building's disabled but everybody gets their own little plot of land to build on however um so the, the what, what i initially suggested right what i initially proposed was that uh the this this little section here uh, was, was every, there would be a million of them, just a fucking stupid amount in the hub area, right? Outside of the, the, the levels area, the, the gameplay zone. And there would just be a stupid amount of plots. And everybody's time somebody joins, they get to go to a plot and they get to buy one. And I, I, I kind of hand waved away like, oh yeah, maybe I'll have some sort of teleportation mechanic so they can teleport to their hub and then teleport to their base and then teleport back to the main hub. Cause there's going to be trading and stuff and, and NPCs and stuff. Um, but that sucks and it's stupid, so we're not doing that. Instead, this little doohickey right here is the answer. So this uh, is a this is this well this is a uh, a skyblock template. Uh, if you've ever played skyblock, it's a very very famous Minecraft uh, game mode. Uh, it, it's a little block of sky, and you get to work on it, and you get to expand, and that's how the whole game mode works. Uh, and you know that got pretty fucking popular, and it got so popular, in fact, that there is a ton of plugins out there that support it specifically supporting every player when they join a skyblock server they get to press a little command and they get their own island they get their own skyblock island so 
We've kind of retrofitted this. If I type slash island, boom, I've got myself a little base in the void. Don't worry about that. That's a, that was another, that's, that's broken. But you get a little base in the void. You can see, I can't walk off the edge. I can't walk off. And I can build in here. I can, I can do whatever I want in here. And then I type uh, NVT slash Sophie baby slash uh, hub, which is clunky and sucks. And it teleports you back to the hub. So today what we're doing is uh, we're, we're going to be doing a little bit of UI polish. I'm specifically showing how I'm going to do custom UI elements. Um, Apocalypse's inventory is, is shrunk, which uh, might sound nightmarish because Minecraft is an inventory problem, but the, the whole balance of the game is completely overhauled with Apocalypse, so that's not a problem. Um, but that gives me room to work with these little custom UI slots. Now, I've shown, I've done some stuff with these before. There's a quest backpack. You can just click this and your quest item backpack shows up. It's very handy. But I've implemented this new one where you click this. Oh, I'm on my island. Click it again. Oh, I'm back in the hub. It's beautiful. And today I'm going to be uh, turning this into a little fancy little button that actually looks like a house because I just have like scaffolding and an end stone block right now, which is not pretty. So that's that's today's goal. That's what we're doing. It's very simple, but uh, we're going to be just changing this. We're going to give this pixel art, essentially. Not final pixel art. The, 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 the nice thing about the way I have to set up pixel art is I can swap it out. I can hot swap it. But yeah, that's going to be the idea, and I'm, it's going to show off how this is implemented and how it's all done. So we're going to be moving right over to Photoshop right now. Um, oops, I opened up a thing from a previous stream. So yeah, we're opening up Photoshop. Um, we are we're going to get like a simple house. Now I'm not an artist, so I'm 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 going to like I said, this is temporary. Um, I'm going to just be looking on the internet if there's a house. Actually, I wanted to check. Does Minecraft have a house icon in the game. I I feel like it probably does. And hear me out. I feel like if I go to like, where's the language settings or something? Language. Okay, there's no icons there. I feel like it's probably, Can it, does anybody in chat, like I can just find pixel art for this if I have to. Does the plugin have that private space thing issued fix? I don't know what issue are you referring to? Also, you don't even know what plugin I'm using. <laughs> What are you referring to? Um, if you mean like, yeah, every player will get their own base. Uh, are you talking about what I was talking about on the Discord? Because if that's the case, then yes, I have fixed that. Um, I'll, I'll explain that in the, like I'll explain that later. I'm not going to talk about that today. It's a whole nother nightmare, but I think I have. Yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty much solved. Blankage. Um, that's pretty much solved. It's not that making the bases would be taxing. Um, it's, uh, I, I'm not going to get into it now. That'll totally derail me. Maybe I'll talk about it later. Long story short, uh, player counts are, are an issue that I've had to worry about. So that's, that's kind of next on my plate. Um, I'm not going to be doing that on stream cause it's going to be a lot of networking garbage, but I'm going to have to do a bunch of shit. Um, so does anybody know if Minecraft has just like a house icon anywhere in the game? Like what? Like anywhere? Like anywhere? I'm just yoinking this pixel art. Like maybe in like an like a like you know how all the potion effects? Like what are all the potion effect icons? Like there's got to be something, right? Does Minecraft has a house? I I'm gonna Google Minecraft Minecraft house icon pixel art. No, no, none of this is. There's nothing here. Realms, you're a genius. Hang on, Minecraft realms logo. No, that's like a logo, logo, icon. Oh, I don't, it's no, the Minecraft realms icon is like a, like an earth, which is kind of cute, but it's not what we want for this. Okay, hang on. I'm literally just gonna, again, this is temporary pixel art, so I'll be replacing it with better pixel art later. The, the way I have to implement this is really annoying and y'all are gonna see how that works. So that's, uh, that's that's what the main thing today is. This is just implementing the the, the art for the icons in general. Um, I'm gonna Google sixteen by sixteen house and see what pops up. No, this is feet. This is like a real house. Sorry, house pixel art. Sixteen by sixteen house pixel art. No, none of this is okay. None of the Google. Did you not hear what I asked for? Does this look like sixteen by sixteen to you? Oh, I guess it is. <laughs> I guess the art style. Say no. I just want the house though. Hang on, hang on. I need like a simple house pixel art. Oh, here we go. Boom. Okay. So this is licensable from vector stock. Um, I'm not going to be doing that because this is temporary and it's not going to be forever. This is going to be our little secret for today. Here we go. Um, 
Hello, I, 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 I paste it. I paste it. Where is it? Oh, it's big. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, that's so silly looking. <laughs> Again, not permanent. I'm. I would never like. I'm not gonna steal shit for my for my game. This is very temporary. Very temporary art. That's so funny looking. I don't think this is gonna. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. House pixel art icon. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's just a silly little thing yeah no this will be replaced pretty quickly um maybe i'll make duke make me art <laughs> don't tell him i said that all right all right let's just let's just shrank this thing it doesn't have to look good for now it just needs to look like a house I just don't want it to look too ugly, you know? I don't want to, every time I press the pause button, to be like, ew, there's that thing that's temporary art, and I hate it, and it needs to go away. I don't want to be thinking like that. That works! Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Here, let me clean it up a little. Let me clean it up a little. Here, hang on. Give me, like, a yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of. Hang on. <laughs> I'm no I'm no artist. I am no artist. That works. That works. Get rid of the background. We'll get rid of all the white. White. Select. Color range. White. Delete that shit. Boom. That'll do. Some very temporary pixel art. Um. Oh boy, it is not centered. Can I center it without completely fucking it? Hang on. <laughs> nope <laughs> okay <laughs> whatever uh yeah all right so we're gonna save this in a specific folder not this folder hang on uh oh fuck i don't have it open hang on it's going to be in so the way this is going to be done is i'm going to be putting this in a resource pack and then replacing the items model data so this is going to go into this is going to be a png and it's going to go into the item texture file. And this is where all this is uh, this is all my current pixel art. This is where all this lives. We're going to rename this to house icon or house UI. Let's do house. Let's do house UI. I think that works. Okay. So, this is how this is how we implement this. So, that's my plugin list. Uh in order to make this work, we need to go into the into the texture pack we need to go into minecraft models item and we need to tell it to use a, an a, a, an item here we're going to copy the stick here and we're going to place this with what is it scaffolding is that how you print it is that how you write it let's check minecraft please give sophie baby sca scaff yeah okay minecraft scaffolding Perfect. We go back to here. Here's eight by eight. How's that gone for maps? But not sixteen by sixteen. That's okay. Um, don't forget to label it as temporary. So I'm actually not going to be doing that because I will be literally just drag and dropping, replacing it down the line. And that's why we can do this now. That's why this is easy to do right now. And that's why I can do temporary art because it will be just a drag and drop replace. I'll write this down separately somewhere else that it's uh, that's temporary. All right. So we got to replace this. The way this works is this is telling Minecraft to replace the the PNG for it if it's using a certain number code in it. Uh, we'll keep one, two, three, four. That's fine. And we're going to do item custom. Uh, we're going to make a new folder called UI. And where are we? Hang on. No, we're not. Uh, hang on. We're going to open like a second thing here to make this easier. Uh, we're gonna go back to textures, item. Right, okay, I remember how this works. So this, this is, this is why Minecraft is stupid. This isn't pointing to the texture file, this is pointing to a fucking, uh, this is pointing to a fucking folder that points to another text, fi text file. 
This will be custom UI. And we'll call it house UI. And that should be fine. We're going to save that. We're going to go to custom. We're going to make a new folder called UI. And then we're going to create another another uh, file here, which is called house UI. I'm going to copy, like, I don't know, just a random one. Copy this. Rename it to house UI. This is what... Uh, the previous text file is pointing to, and then we open this, and then we would just replace this with item slash house UI, and then it will find the texture. So, we're gonna go back into Minecraft. Uh, that should all be done. That should be implemented. This is going way faster than I expected. Uh, this, that's, that's, that's all done. So now we're going to be using the item join plugin. Uh, so this is how I do my custom UIs. Um, I mean, this it's just a resource pack that makes this look smaller, but the way it's actually done is I have a bunch of uninteractable items here. They're apples right now. They're invisible apples, which is why you can see the hunger amount whenever I mouse over. I'm going to be removing that. Um, in fact, we'll do that today since this is going faster than I expected. But yeah, so the way this works is we're going to go to the modify tab here. We're going to hit our scaffolding and we're going to change its settings. And this is this is a whole GUI that this plugin has. It's super handy. And here you can see all of the like stuff that we we've got it set up. So it's it 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 uh it's obviously it's scaffolding. It's in the slot where it's supposed to go. That seventeenth item slot. Uh, it has the lore of ET go home because that's my temporary lore for it right now. That's the uh, the description of the item. Model data. That's what we're checking changing right now. So we go to data. Go to model data. We're gonna replace that. Why can't I? There we go. We're going to go custom model data, and we are going to type one, two, three, four, because that's the number we put in. And when I return, I'll save this. And then we reset the texture pack. Should. That's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Why didn't that work? Why didn't that work? Uh, why didn't that work? Uh-oh. Trying to figure it out. Welcome to game dev. Uh, okay, so scaffolding. I spelled it right, yeah? Scaff, that's that's how you spell scaffolding. Custom all data, one, two, three, four. Item, custom UI, house UI. That's correct. Where did I fuck it up? Custom weapons. Doesn't need a comma there. Um, Osk, you know about Minecraft stuff. Are you able to replace the texture of like a block? Is it because it's a block? Oh, also, I'm not sharing my screen. Oops. There we go. Is it because it's a block by chance? Hang on, I'm also gonna put Minecraft in windowed mode real quick so it doesn't blink out every time I tab between the two. Um, is it because it's a block? That's the only thing I can think of. I don't think I fucked this up. Maybe it's because. Item generated. Item scaffolding. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, it's fine, Osk. It's fine. I'm trying to replace the with the model data, the, the texture. It's, it's it's a block. Um, that might be why. I think that is why. We can just replace it with an item. Yeah, fuck it. Let's replace it with an item. That's easier that way. Let's go pick a weird item that nobody will ever will never need to use in our game mode. We'll see if that fixes it. If not, then it's something else. Pink? I could do pink candle. <laughs> item Jason scary. They're scary. I hate item Jasons. Um, I could do like an amethyst bud. I, I might want to use that at some point, though. You know, you never know. It's got to be something I will never, ever, ever need to use. It could just be a random, are really, are, are all the candle, wait, whoa, hang on, hang on. Scaffolding is entirely broken now. Okay, so that's, that's good to know. It's not just the specific custom model data. It's all scaffolding is broken now. That's good to know. All right, what are we, what are we replacing? So are all the candles like separate? Hang on, what's the fucking F3N? Nope, F3M, F3Y, F3H, there we go. Oh my god, they are separate. That's funny. 
I don't think a line is off in the Jason. It could be though, because if they're if it's entirely broken. I think I did it right though. I need to open this in Notepad Plus. Hang on. Get out of here. This is the config for our This is the config for our thing. Okay. That's oops, that's closed. That's closed. That's closed. That's closed. It's all closed correctly. Item scaffolding. Overrides that. Let me just check another item thing real quick, uh, like snowball. I'm like 90% sure I got this right. It might just be because it's a block. I'm gonna. Th I'm thinking it's because it's a block. I'm gonna replace the the item. Let's do a fucking candle. There's no way I'm gonna need fucking brown candles, right? Are players ever gonna need brown candle? Maybe. The thing is, it's not like I can't use these items after. It's just like I don't want. No, it literally doesn't matter. We're going to do a candle. Fuck it. We're doing a candle. Great candle. It's not like this is going to get rid of great candles. I just like making it stuff that are unlikely to be used, uh, just in case. Great candle. Because players can't change the custom model data of, of stuff. Um, hi, where's our, all of our text documents? This needs to be a JSON, that's why. JSON! Save. Let me get rid of the scaffolding. Now what? Players are going to be able to find a way to use every possible item in hefty amounts. Yeah, po possible is the key word there. Not every item is going to be obtainable. I control what's obtainable. Again, it doesn't really matter. Um, because because like uh, one of the items I have customized is literally sticks. So like if I was really that worried about it, I would not be using sticks. I just I, I'm just trying to be like doubly sure. Like a lot of the stuff I have. Um, will the block state variants matter for the camp? I don't know. We're gonna find out. We're, fi we're finding out right now. We're gonna find out if this works right now. Oops. Modify this settings. Change the material to a gray candle. Can I search this? No, I I just have to click until I find gray candles. I'm going to click right past them and not even see them. I'm going to click right the fuck past these candles. Gray candle. Yay! Oh, it worked. Let's go. There we go. Boom. Easy as pie. All right, so now if I kill Sophie Baby, uh... And then I go back into survival mode. Boom. And then I teleport. And that's an end stone. Okay, so yeah, it's 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 because it was a thing. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Um, all right, now let's do the end stone. I'm gonna also make that a gray candle, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna um well, first off, we're gonna close that. Uh second, we're going to go comma, copy all this. Space. I really should be doing this in uh in Notepad++, it's so much better, but here we are. We're going to make this one, two, three, five, and it's going to be custom UI, hub UI. You can just save that. Go to custom, go to UI, make a hub UI, and then point it to hub UI. Perfect. And as soon as I have a texture for this, that should autofill. Okay, back to Photoshop. Uh, so the hub icon, again, this is temporary art, so it doesn't matter, but I'm, I might actually make something for this because I have a, like a specific picture in my head of what I might want to do with this. So the, 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 with the lore, uh, it takes place on the moon. And I was thinking of having like a, like sort of like a, like a, like a spacey background like this. Right? Kind of like a cresting horizon. Uh, and then 
having like a moon and then having it like darker here. I don't know, something like that. See, I'm no artist, so. And then having the moon crest over this or something. So actually, if I undo that, make it a separate layer. I don't fucking know. See, that's that's too that's too deep. I'm thinking of having it just like that. Yeah, I'm into that. We'll we'll center this. And then we'll make like a moon in between and we'll sandwich yeah. a moon in between there. Um wait. I got the, I got my orders all over. All over the place. Um fucking like a pale yellow moon. This is kind of the idea I was going for. What? Wait. I was ahead of that. No to that. I did have it right the first time. And then we could do like some dark, some little, the, the dark little crater spots. It's so hard to work with this pixel size. I could always make it deeper. That's kind of the idea I was going for. You know what I mean? So like COD zombies, you don't live on the moon in COD zombies. The Nazis were just hanging out up there. Learn your lore. <laughs> this is kind of the idea I had. And then like some stars in the background, right? Some like, some like stars, oh, stars. I don't know. I don't look very good. <laughs> I know artists. But this is like the concept art, right? This works. This works. You know what? Um, look like little little darker dots, maybe. This looks bad. Maybe I should have just stolen something from the internet. For the concept art. For the concept art. Missing a blue pixel. I'm missing a lot everywhere. One, two, one, two, two, one, two. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. One, two, one, two, yeah, okay, that's centered. Yeah, this doesn't look great, I'm not gonna lie. But you get the idea. The idea is there. It goes lighter because they're stars. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're gonna save this as it is. I kind of want this to be like bigger. We're just gonna <laughs> space. All right, all right. Let's save it as it is. Don't worry, this is gonna get completely replaced. Completely replaced. Hub UI. Save it. And if I literally go to Minecraft and I F3T right now, I think that'll actually just get implemented because of how we did it. So, uh oh, scaffolding is still broken. Why? Hang on. Hang on now. Why is scaffolding still broken? Because I never deleted the file. That'll do it. Oop. There we go. All right, so we click in our little house. We're here, and then I didn't replace that. Whoops. Hang on. Open up the item join menu. Modify this. Uh, click this. Replace this with a... Oh, fuck. I have to click this a billion times. Gray candle! Oh. Oh, my God. It's the second to last page. Okay. Gray candle. Go to data, model data, custom model data, one, two, three, five. I could literally just make it like one and two, but I, I don't know. I like to make sure. That's not the right one. That's the wrong one. I made a one, two, three, five, right? I did. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh, this is no longer a custom item. <laughs> hang on. Die. My stuff back. Oh, this fucking bug's still happening. Um, there's a bug with one of the plugins and the it's not my fault. I didn't make it. The creators said they're fixing it. Okay, so yeah, these are both houses right now. We need to fix that. Why are you both houses? Why are you doing that to me? Did I not save my changes? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. One, two, three, five. Oh, do I save? I just didn't save that. And then this is in here, right? Yeah, okay, this is in here. 
Okay, now it should work. Yay! There we go. Okay, yeah, that definitely sucks as an icon. But the idea is there, and if that was cleaned up, I think it could look really nice. Also, there's no way this is 16 by 16, right? That looks way too detailed to be 16 by 16. So is there... Am, I'm, unless it is. Shit, yeah. That's what happens when you're a good artist. Anyway, um, there we go. And they're done. And we have a UI element. Uh, I, I kind of want to do something else, too. I wanted to... Um, I don't know if I want to do this, like, now. But I wanted to make a... I wanted to, sur I wanted to surround these in a box. Um, to make them actually look like buttons. Because they don't look like buttons right now, right? They just look like items I outside of the inventory. So I, I, I want to surround them with, like, little, little buttons. Um, button UI... I don't know if I want to do that now, though. I was thinking of using the uh, the borders of the actual inventory and just kind of like superimposing them over. Um, before we do that, what was the other thing I said I wanted to do today? Because I don't remember what it was. There was something else I, I, I said. Boy, I have ADHD. Uh, There's something. Oh, right. The permissions. The permissions. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I can't do that live on stream. That could show off. Stuff that could get me in trouble later. Okay. Uh, I guess we're not doing that today. Well, shit. It's went faster than I expected. I need to I need to think of a new plan. I don't know. What do y'all want to see? <laughs> Let's see this tray. Hi, Lady Emily. How's it going? I'm just going to kill a zombie. So hang on. Actually, I, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do right now. This, this isn't going to take very long. But there's something I need to test. Um, fucking the sneak plugin. I thought it was broken, but it seems to be working. Let's test. So let's test it out right now. So from walking, they should see me at like an eight block distance, approximately. So oh, that's just he's just idling. He's just idling right around here. You should start to see me. There he is. Okay, so that's working. But I would expect that to work. This is hard to test for because they could like idle wander into your range. Um, okay, so sprinting, you should catch me at twice the distance. Oh, that worked. Okay. Yeah, that totally worked. Okay, so sprinting is working. Is sneaking working? Because last time I checked this, I just swear it wasn't working. Oh, oh, oh. He's just wandering. He's just wandering. I should make a custom zombie that doesn't wander for testing sneak ranges. Oh, it's working. Yeah, okay, that's totally working. And then he wandered into me. Yeah, the way the sneaking works is uh, when you're sprinting, your detection radius is doubled. When you're sneaking, when you're crouched, it's halved. So you can sneak past guys. Uh, not super useful on the, on the zombies because they, like, sprint uh, and they wander. But there'll be other enemies that wander a lot slower That'll be more useful. No, it's not sound level conditions, Oscar. It's literally sprinting or crouching. It's a very simple system, um, which I think is better. And if you're sprint jumping, it'll still count. The combat message are temporary. Yeah, yeah. So, well, sort of. So the 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 entering combat, what this is going to be, um, I, I want to make it less intrusive, but it will be there. I'm, I'm not sure. So the thing on the top, the reason this is here, let me explain. Uh, the reason that's there is because uh, I don't want people to combat log, essentially. Combat logging is a classic Minecraft issue where you're in the fight and you just leave the game, right? Um, and I don't want that to happen. So the idea is if you quit the game while you're mid-combat, uh, that it will it will do something. Uh, I, I would like it to create a NPC version of you that just stands still, and if you die, you die. Uh, like if you if that character dies, then when you log back in, then you're still dead. That's how I've seen a lot of other places do it. However, when I tried to get that working before, it didn't work. Um, and I'm not sure if that's a plugin issue or what. That's something we could work on today. Um, but yeah, that's that's why the combat messages are there. Because um, if you, you know, in theory, but if I log out mid fight, I'm pretty sure it does nothing right now. Uh oh. Okay, no, we're back in. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That was wacky. Um, 
so I can't test that right now though because I don't have my uh, du Duke's account set up on here. Okay, so that's working. Uh, combat logs working. Yeah, I'm also um another thing I I have planned which is basically done i you know what i might have it in the game right now actually uh it should be the rock sophie baby rock i think this works this is not what it's going to be in the final version in the final version this is going to be a delayed effect and it's going to be a throwable noise maker that like it, it's like a little redstone machine and it makes noise but could you stop wandering at me there's no way you found me i i think i sprinted for a split second there and he caught me Try that again. So the way this works, what are the other enemies? There's none currently in the game, but there's quite a few planned. I'm planning on having versions of all the vanilla Minecraft mobs um, apocalypsified. So the way this works is if I throw this rock. Oh, that was way closer to me than I expected it to be. <laughs> I thought it was going to be snowball physics. I haven't used it in a long time. It, uh, but yeah, he goes and checks it out. Wait, check it out. Yeah, okay, it's working. So this will be a noisemaker down the line, and it'll, like, take a second to activate. But it'll be for getting through hordes. Like, if I go to creative mode real quick. And I spawn 40 zombies, then the game will freeze. Because they're all frozen on each other and trying to act at the same time. That was a mistake. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Don't do that. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't. Don't do that. It's been like 10. There we go. Um, and if I give myself a rock. And they should all like swarm towards it. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff you could do with that. Again, it won't be a rock in the final version. The rocks are for the slingshot, which I think is also implemented. Mostly. Yeah, this is still working. Why is it enchanted? I don't know. God, I need a rock for this. And then you can pew, do that. Anyway. Uh, okay, so we've got our UI set up. I need to adjust the permissions on it, but I don't want to do that on stream. See, I don't. A big reason I don't do a lot of dev streams is because I get caught in this. It's like, what can I do on stream? And then I like, get in my own head about it. When I'm off stream and I'm developing, I just get a ping pong from like thing to thing. Um. I'm like caught in a middle ground between wanting to develop and wanting to just show stuff off. I don't know, man. Everything's just like working. <laughs> There's nothing for me to fix. I don't really want to implement an entirely new th thing on stream because that's a lot of working in silence, but. Am I going to use, like, a cancel on quit aura for the logout thing? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, that, do you mean, that's not mythic. That's, like, a different plugin. Um. New kinds of, seriously, streaming, dev, dev streams are hard for me. I don't plan on doing a ton of dev, dev streams because of this. It's part of why, I, like, I've still been developing this quietly on the side, but, like, on stream? Ugh. Yeah, no, the way the combat log works, it's it's totally separate. I it's not that's not in Mythic. I would love for Mythic script to come out so I can make stuff my own style like that. Let's see. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna fix this fucking Ender Plus annoying ass fucking pop-up that comes up every 20 seconds. This is what we're fixing right now. First off, let's go find the settings, see if I can turn this off. Because it works. I don't need to update it. It works. Whenever I update shit, everything breaks. I don't want to update it. Ender plus config. Please tell me I can turn this off. Database. I don't even know what that's for. Convert on join. Update checker. Here it is. In minutes. D can I not just turn it off? <laughs> this is going to be silly. What if I turn it to zero? <laughs> <laughs> this will either disable actually negative one what if this will either disable it or it'll be constant and it'll crash my server i can't wait to find out which one let's all find out together uh ender plus reload okay so far so good plugin's still working 
So far, so good. You definitely make an aura that triggers if you log out in combat, but you have no idea what you'd do to make it meaningful after you log in. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's. T I I would rather use an inbuilt solution uh for that because there's a ton of combat log plugins even if this existing one doesn't work there's tons of stuff that works for that solution we can look into that fuck it let's, let's start looking into that right now um okay so i have to remember what this plugin even is because i haven't edited this in a long time so dc help what do, what do we do you have a menu that's so helpful okay um Oh, I this is a whole combat. I forgot. I paid for this fucking mod. I paid for this. It better work for what I want. All right. So combat. There's general settings, stats, death, old PVP. Oh, man, I do not remember. Combat log punishment. Here we go. Okay. The punishment systems. Punishment system punishes every player who quits during, during quits server during pot combat. Punishment. Inventory action. Combat log NPC. Select the entity type of the combat log NPC. So this creates like an actual NPC NPC. I was kind of hoping for like an armor stand. Goof, I think you read. Combat log NPC AI. So wait, what happens if you kill them though? Like, will they still drop the items? Right, okay. Item location. Clears items. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. So we activate this. It runs a command right now. What command is it running? Current value is empty. Okay, so it's not actually doing any commands. This is a very decent system. How do I even test that? Uh... With two instances of Minecraft. I forget what the program's called, but I have it on my computer. I just don't know if I still have Duke's login information. What's the app called? It's not Nucleus. That's like the new version of it. Fuck, man, I don't know. Multi-MC, that's the one. Multi-MC. Uh-oh, did I uninstall it? If I did, I definitely don't have Duke's login info. <laughs> Hang on, let me grab a thing here and search my PC. I think I got rid of this, uh, this plugin, or this mod, this program. I definitely did, okay. Uh, let's go download multi-MC. <laughs> let's do it. I would just invite somebody to play with me, but it doesn't work that way because uh, this is running my local computer right now and I don't have any port forwarding or anything like that at the moment. I do have to do the PvP test uh, soon, which actually, I, I, I want that to be fairly soon. Um, like real style. I know I've said this a million times, but I actually need to do some stress testing on the server's end. So I'm going to need to purchase a server that I intend to use for the final version. See how that works with a bunch of entities and stuff. So that's got to come down the line, which means I need to buckle down and make a PvP map for the PvP test to happen on. Uh, that shouldn't take too long. Okay, let's, let's try multi-MC. Let's do this. Get off my screen. Okay. I'm making sure it doesn't show up on my screen right now. Add Microsoft account. Oh, cool. This is automated. Thank God. Okay, I don't have to show stuff. Okay, Duke, I need you to do a thing. What? I need you to do something for me. Oh, um, what's up? I'm going to send you a link, and I need you to click that. And then, it, and then put in a code I'm going to send you in spoiler text. And then log into that. So I can have your Minecraft on my computer. I love you. 
Make sure you tell chat your password, okay? It's just password. It's just password. It's just password. Do I want this app to access my computer? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sending my husband malware. I'm sending my husband computer. I'm sending my husband. I I, I am definitely. Oh shit. Uh, wrong one. What? It's not your Minecraft account. Oh. Hang on. Don't do it just yet. Yeah, new code for you. You have to do it again. Do you do it with your Minecraft account? You have a Microsoft account, right? It's not a Mojang account still? It's a Microsoft. Okay, good. You have like three Microsoft accounts. Three Microsoft accounts. You have like so many accounts. <laughs> I'm in hell. Mm hmm What's a little ransomware between you and your spouse? Exactly. I'm literally stealing my husband's account right now. He'll never know. How's it going over there? Give me a shot. Uh-huh. You did the new code I sent you? Can you send me another code? I did. No, can you send me another, another code? But it's the same one. Please? Okay, did you fuck it up? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the another, another code. You ready? Love you. I love you. Did you fuck it up again? It just says it doesn't work. What does it say? Oh, wait. <laughs> Good? Give me a shot. <laughs> It emailed a code to my email. It emailed a code to your email? Oh, it's, it's, it, they're probably worried somebody's hacking into your account. Nobody would ever do that. Nobody would ever use your account to play Minecraft on their computer. Nope. What? No. What? No. Why not? Do it again. Fuck. Not doing nothing. Did you do the newest code? Nothing. Did you put that code in? Which code did you use? Just give me a second, I love you. Okay. <laughs> well, chat. We're waiting on my husband. Why is this glowing? What'd you say? It's not sending the code. What do you mean? It's not sending the code. You put the code in. My email. Why is it still asking for your email? I don't know. You should be logged in. Uh huh. I'm giving you lots of sex. Wait. Well. I love you. Does it work now? Have you done anything? I just sent it. What did you mean? Okay, yeah, it worked. I love you. I'm in. Excellent. All right, now I have to find out how to find my Minecraft. Add instance? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, now launch that instance. Enter plus triggered again? You son of a bitch! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Okay, okay. You motherfucker. Here's the thing is I tried to update the version and it didn't work earlier. So I, like, I have to figure out how to fix I'm pretty sure only I see this and, like, regular players wouldn't even see it, but I need this to stop. I hate plugins that do this like oh update your shit and they put it in my chat if you want to uh, remind me put it in my console don't put it in my chat box i hate that shit all right we're gonna restart the server 
and see if that fixes it. Because sometimes when you reload a config, it doesn't fix things. Please, please, like, can I thank you? Oh, Osk, I'm so sorry. And they were just spamming the shit out of your console, I imagine. The thing is, is like a lot of plugins that I run aren't even like functional in 1.19.4. And they spam the shit out of me with update messages. Like, for example, every time I boot this server, I get a big bold text that says update your paper client. Guess what, motherfuckers? Paper doesn't have another update for 1.19.4. I'm on the latest version. I mean... Let me in. Libs disguises bricked socks crap the other day. I don't think I have libs disguises in right now. But I've no I know about it. What did they do? Dump some jar in our folder that doesn't work for awesome. Yeah, no, I had I have um I have a number of plugins that just is not work are not working in 1.19.4. Um, even though they say that they're compatible. Like uh um fucking custom crafting is what I use for all of my custom items and all of my custom shit. And it's like, yeah, we're we support 1.19.4, and it just doesn't. It just fully doesn't. And I had to backport to a weird ass version. And I had to like, try, I tried so many versions to make it work. And um, Via version too, although I, I feel like that one's gotta be in my my fault because Via version's like a super big plugin, but I, who knows? Uh, I can't get Via version working for some reason, uh, which I need, that one's important. But we'll see. Minecraft plugins are stupid. We're still waiting on a multi MC for, for Duke's account, by the way. Nothing, no, 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 you're good, you're good. I'm running. I'm, you're fine, Duke. You're fine. Am I? Is my script out of date? I thought I updated script. I guess not. Endless Tangled plugins is what? What's what's gonna like push you towards Fabric Dev? I. The thing is, like. Fa fabric, I feel like, isn't much better because at least with plugins, they are capable of supporting multiple Minecraft versions. But fabric mods, it's like you do or you don't, right? Like it, it either it, it you, like you, you you only get the version that it's that it supports. And there's no room for for anything else. Okay, I think I'm ready to launch the second instance of Minecraft. Yes, excellent. Here, let's do some split screen action. Press enter to enable the narrator. I will not be doing that, thanks. Proceed. Wow. Yay! My husband's here and he's dead! That's right, because we were testing this before. There's gonna be a bunch of shit on his screen because he doesn't have the texture pack. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is gonna look like this. He doesn't have the, uh, the, I don't have it running, like the server isn't automatically installing the texture pack just because I'm modifying it constantly, right? Um, also we're gonna die of starvation. So let's get a gapple. Let's get some gapples. All right. Doesn't even have his cool skin because I don't have that mod installed. All right, TP, uh, you to me. All right, so. Where the fuck am I? Awesome. So if I hit Duke and log out, nothing happened. I log back in and I am back. Okay. Well, we can test it now at least. Uh, so settings, uh, combat, combat log punishment. Man, click.
Wait, how do I actually activate the combat log NPC? What? Do I have to activate this part? I really wish it could just be an armor stint that wore the same equipment or something. I mean, it might be able to be. I don't really understand this. Oh! That's... Is that new? Player NPC type. Is that new? Okay. Now hang on a second. With the player's inventory, it has an AI. Okay, so we can dis... Wait. Okay, cool. So we disable that. Cool. Now, how do we actually get it to spawn? I feel like it should just spawn. Is it is it ready to go? Do I have to reload? With the reload command, you can reload some files that can't be edited with the menu. No, that's not. It should it should just be updated. So now, if I punch Duke and log out, there's no fucking monster. What's going on? Wait, is it because I'm an admin? Hang on. Oh, it's totally because I'm an admin. Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, it's this fucking bug. Hang on. I think I have to disconnect, reconnect. What? What? Don't tell me I can't attack these custom NPCs with- Okay, you're not even supposed to- Oh no! Oh, that's bad! Oh, that's bad! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know what just happened. And that's bad. Uh, okay, so... Okay, that works at least. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. So it dropped all of my UI elements. Which shouldn't normally be able to drop. But they did drop because of... Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. At least it, like... Okay, this is progress, though. Was I in creative when that was happening? Because that would absolutely affect it. That's... Um... Hang on. No. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Yeah, it normally works. Oh god, Duke, need get a bandage before you die, quick. Huh. So I need a way for these to not drop. Nah, I don't know how to do that. How can I make... I'm, I'm wearing Duke's head. How can I make these items not drop? I might have to reach out to the item join developer about this. It's It super sucks that I can't attack um, this. So what's happening here is the way I have my combat set up. This is supposed to create a like a cone of damage on these these wide swings, and they just don't work. And the reason the stab works is because that's using a, a, a ray trace. Shit. What? What? Why is that doing zero damage? Now it's doing damage. Oh, it's because Duke had golden apple health. That's why. Huh. How are we gonna manage this? So just to check, when I kill Duke... Yeah, we're good. It only drops the stuff it's supposed to drop. That's good! Spawn... Duke to me... 
but it's specifically the the NPC, which doesn't take damage normally. Please, I'm just I'm gonna get the holy dire. Hang on. Here. Yeah, it's dropping the UI elements. Uh delete those out of my inventory um i don't know how to fix that can i still use this when it's stacked i can okay huh and i respawn duke and he's got nothing so it's i mean it's doing shit correctly as far as the plugins concerned it's just not compatible with my ui stuff i could have it so these can I, can I make it so these get removed when you're not logged in? That's like the best idea. I, Roncosis, if I delayed it until after they rejoin, then that means if somebody disconnected, they could grief the fight and they could never, you would like, if they just never rejoined the server, then that player wouldn't get the loot. So I can't do it like that. Um, good, good idea though. Um,. Yeah, my best idea is, can I make these be removed when you leave the server? I'm pretty sure the only trigger is on join. Yeah. They still retain their, like, effects, is the thing. Like... So if I kill, if I, here, where's, where's, where is Duke? Oh, in, the, in there. So if I, if we do this, oh, Jesus. <laughs> One shot kill. Um, if I do this, right, they still retain their effects, right? Like if I click this, I still, oh, yeah, it still opens the backpack. If I, if I had an extra one of these in here, it's still... So, th so that's that's good, because that means that even as loose items, they have their effects. So maybe there's a way I could make these disable themselves uh, when they are dropped. That's my best idea. So we will head back into the item join menu. That's that's the, I think the best the best bet. So. There are commands that you can execute, but drop does not seem to be. Thing. There's got to be a way. I'm not using. I am using Crucible. Is that is that a problem, Osk? I'm not using Crucible for Crucible for the items. I'm using item join for the items. I am using Crucible for the weapons though. Conditions for triggers, commands, and disposable item flag. Oh, hang on. Conditions that must be met in order to receive the item. That's not what I want. Swap them over to Crucible, but it has a number of things you could probably use to solve this. So, the problem with using crucible is i don't think i could automatically give these to players upon like all of the necessary things like i mean maybe i could like does 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 crucible have like checks for on join and switching dimensions and stuff like that like kind of catch all checks and then, other than that, it's just commands that are being run, so that wouldn't be the work. Like, do they have uninteractable um, sets? Like, so for these, I can't click on these, I can't drop them. If I do magically get those in my hand, which is possible, I think, if I do this right now with a bug. Uh, if I get them in my hand, I can't actually switch to them, and I can't drop them either um, with Q. Can't do anything. Forgot about join. Yeah, no, the on join is important. Yeah. So the on the on join is basically the most important. 
Um, get rid of these. Get rid of these. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, what have I done? Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What has happened? Oh no. Oh, this is so broken. Uh oh. How do I get how do I fix this? <laughs> how do I fix this? Uh I could just briefly make them like droppable and then and then remove that. That's my best Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know how to fix this. Before when this would happen, I could just yeah, see if they if these unstack, then I can just go game mode creative and they unstack, but these aren't moving. Uh oh. What if I go into spectator mode and die? Oh, shit. Um, on the bright side, this is showing how robust my system to keep these inventory slots where they're supposed to be is. Um, on the other hand, uh, oh, oh, I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. I don't know if this will work. Hang on. I have a silly idea. Um, so here's what's gonna happen is Duke is gonna get the Holy Dire and punch me and I'm gonna disconnect. And I don't have an NPC. That must be an admin thing. So we're going to de-op me and then punch Duke and then disconnect. And then Duke's gonna get a bandage. Because Duke is bleeding. Duke is gonna kill me. What is there a command to clear items on the ground? Because I need to get rid of these without touching them. These are like hazards right now. These are these are. Oh, I can just burn them. Uh, hang on. Open up the this. Op Duke. And get lava. Give Duke lava. Give me a bucket too. Why can't I interact? Wait. Oh, I'm in I'm in um adventure mode. That's why. Burn. Good, good. Just just good. Okay. And now. Yeah, I don't know how you could make it move um, be immovable. Yeah, I, I don't think it would work, Osk, unfortunately. Now if I rejoin. Oh, thank God it worked. <laughs> That's so roundabout, but yeah, that reset my inventory. Okay, okay. Hey, that works. We'll re-op myself. D-op Duke. Okay, that's progress. That is progress. I have to figure out what to do about this. All right. There has to be a way to delete them if dropped. Keep on death stuff, which would be useful. The thing is, these actually have a keep on death flag. They do. That's why when I kill Duke with the Holy Dyer, um, when when Duke's logged in, they don't drop. See? They're not in the inventory. They have a keep on death flag. It's specifically the interaction with this plugin, because the NPC it creates doesn't have a keep on death plugin, because it's not a real player. Um... That's that's the issue that we're facing. It's it's not about the it's not about the flag. The flags are correct if this is a PVP fight. The problem is that when Duke leaves, it's no longer really Duke. Oh god, Duke has these. Oh god. Oh wait, no, that's normal. That they're they're normal style. Hang on. If we game mode Duke oh, wait. Can I not change somebody else's game mode? We're gonna opt Duke. It doesn't actually matter. Those can just be loosely in your inventory. I don't care. If you die, they still won't draw up yet. Okay, we're good. Respawn. DP. Duke. Me. 
I don't know if I'm gonna keep this corpse system also. This is this is temporary for now. Um, I, I might get rid of that. That's just a part of this plugin, and I can't, I don't know, I kept it. Um, keeps things clean. Let's drop some on the ground. What do I do here? That's another thing is the, the corpse is from this same plugin, yet it doesn't create a player corpse. Like this plugin is the thing that creates the corpses. Is it clear if this item is dropped option? Yeah. In theory, I might be able to do a unionization if I can get item join to give a crucible item. That could work. I don't think I can, though. Okay, uh, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. So if I, let's just do, let's do another test real quick. I'm pretty sure that if I change this NPC to like something else, like we'll just change it to a fucking chicken, right? It'll still, the problem will be the same, I think. So punch Duke, Duke disconnects, kill the chicken. Yep. Oh, we got hazards. We got hazards. Burn them. Here's something to check though. Here's something to check. Uh, can I, can, does my normal weapons work on the chicken? Because my swords obviously work on NPCs, so why doesn't it work on the fake player? That's gotta be a, that's gotta be a thing. So punch, disconnect. Interesting. Is it because it doesn't have AI? That's my guess. Because obviously my we weapons work on regular mobs. That's how all the development has gone so far. So if I go and change this back to a player for a minute. Uh, NPC type. Next page. Page. You can make it an armor stand. Um, player and then AI active. What if we turn the AI on? Pause that style. Punch. Disconnect. No, doesn't work. Also, I've got this. Oh, it's because I'm in creative. Hang on. Yeah, it's still not working. Firm. Wait, I'll still have to check something. Connect. Reconnect. It's not even applying the health damage I'm dealing. That's interesting. That kind of sucks. I was hoping it would, like, save how much damage I do to the NPC and apply it to Duke when he logs back on. Um, not the end of the world. Yeah, I, I don't want this to get too crunchy, um, Oss, because the thing is, the crunchier this gets, the more that, that it's open to bugs and exploits. And I want this to be pretty airtight. Because I, I want to advertise this on, like, TikTok and stuff to random people. I don't just expect this to be purely a, um, purely a, a my audience type of server, right? Which would be a lot easier to moderate. I, I do plan on making this more of a, a, a public kind of standard Minecraft server experience. So this needs to be pretty airtight. And, yeah. So, I mean, there's other things we can do. It doesn't have to create an NPC. That's what I wanted. But there's other options. What if we just kill the player? Let's test that and just see what happens. If you log out, obviously I don't want that in the final version, but let's test that. So, how do I even disable this? Oh, there's a filter button. Hey, look at that. Yeah, already set, so keep it, motherfucker. Fine, I'll just leave the menu. Uh, DC said cancel. There we go. It's an interesting way to do your menus. Uh, cancel the execute at once. Killed by another player. Reaction block type of the what? Block type of the block inventory. What does that mean? 
Oh, this ref this fills your inventory with blocks. That's a that's a thing, I think. Clear none drop. Okay, okay, actually there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, corpse. <gasps> corpse could be it. Corpse could be it. Get the pause ready. Doop doop. Fuck. <laughs> and I can loot them, which we don't want. I shouldn't have taken that. Uh-oh. Okay, thank God I get rid of them. Why do those ones get pulled out, but these don't? That's interesting. Maybe I could actually fix that, but that's that doesn't matter for the main server. Um, okay, rejoin. And it just insta-kills you. So yeah, we don't really want it to insta-kill you, because if somebody's game, like... Bricks, you know, I don't want to be too unfair. Um, we're getting closer though. I'm understanding more. All right, this one, we got to be really, we got to cross the hell out of our fingers for this one. Because if this doesn't work, um, I'm going to be a bit scared. This is drop. This is going to make everything that Duke has drop on disconnect. Fuck. Really bad, actually. <laughs> really bad that that really bad that those items actually successfully dropped it does not respect the no not the the don't drop functions at all so there has to be something on item join side that can make these items delete themselves on drop there has to be that is my only solution maybe there's something in the global item settings actually Data tags, you use data tags to distinguish custom item, making them unique. Clearing specific items when a player performs a sp- Oh! Oh, item join items, clear. <gasps> Upon quitting from the server! Is this it? Clears the items upon quitting the server. They spelled quitting wrong. Please tell me that's it. Actions to apply to the clear items. Triggers such as op bypass. Prevent all players from having their first join and first world items cleared. False. No. Protect ops. No. Protect creative. No. Returns the cleared inventory when exiting a cleared region or entering a region which is not listed as clearable. Returns the prior cleared... Yeah. Well, we shouldn't need those because they're already set to on join. give them. Okay. This should do it if we're so lucky. Interesting. It dropped one of them. Only one of them. Let's see if that was a... I, I, I would be willing to bet that was like a it didn't get to it in time kind of thing. No, it's only dropping this now. That's interesting. Okay, okay. What is different about that item f uh, uh, compared to everything else? Oh my god, we're so close. We're so close. Y'all, this is like it. I also have to check something. So if I disconnect as Duke and I rejoin, I instantly open my inventory. It's gone and then... It... <gasps> this is it. This is it. Actually, this is huge. Y'all, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is what we want. Okay. So something is different about the quest items, which makes sense because I made that one first. This is the first one I made, which means it might not be, like, correct. Let's check our triggers. There's, uh... On join, it gives it to you. On world switch, respawn. True, true, true. Okay. Let's actually, let's do a screenshot. Here's what we're going to do. Screenshot this. That just shows everything. Don't save anything. And then check the other items and see what is different about them. Oh, they're so much different. That's way bigger. Okay, okay, hang on. 
Uh, I need to paste this somewhere. Duke, you're getting an image. <laughs> okay, so the differences are... High durability placement, inventory modify, selectable, death heap. I think there's a couple missing on 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 it already. Actually, you know what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna we're gonna screenshot this one because this one tells us what we do want to have. Oh, y'all, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. This is this is it. This is salvation. This is the greatest feeling in the fucking world, when you figure it out. Alright, we want item flags. So, hide attributes. We want to go in order here. Hide attributes. Hide flags. Hide durability. True. Hide enchantments. We don't need that one. Okay, cancel equip. Hang on, I gotta go in order here. Hide in, hide attributes, hide flags, hide durability. Placement. So there's cancel equip we need. What is cancel equip? Cancel equip, turn that to true. Okay, what else? Inventory modify is on both. Selectables on both. Item store, where is item store? Prevent storage. Yeah, turn that on. Death keep is on. We could get rid of death keep, honestly, but it's fine. No, we wouldn't want that. Wait. Oh, it's just not selected for. <laughs> okay. Y'all? Y'all? First things first, Duke has to die. And then respawn. And then... Where's the Holy Dyer? Okay. Here we go. This is it. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Hang on, it might not have updated it properly. It might, I'm not panicking yet. I'm not panicking yet. It might not have updated properly because it does have keep on death. What did I do wrong? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're so close. This is it. This is it. What else do we need to change about you? Where's item flags? Okay, what else do I need to change about you? <sighs> Death drops. Self drops. Is set to true. They both have self drops. Item modifiable set to true. Overwrite. It was overwrite. It set the true. So they should have all the same things now. You teleport, respawn, world switch, game mode switch, enabled worlds. Ah, shit. Now I don't know why it's not working. I must be missing something. I've got to be missing something. There's no reason that one drops, but nothing else does. It just don't make sense. All right, we're taking another screenshot. I'm going to compare. Compare and contrast. No, I, they have everything now. The only difference is the enabled worlds, which shouldn't matter. Why is that one dropping? Hang on, we're gonna game mode creative do that. 
No, we're going to. Yes, game mode creative Duke of Ash. This is still named Scaffold. That's funny. I have to, like, I think that he's keeping the same one. I think that that's what's happening. And I have to, like, really get rid of this and overwrite it. So I, I feel like this hasn't updated. That's, that's what I think is happening. So we're going to go item join menu real quick. Um, we're going to go to enabled game modes. That should be a thing, right? Limit modes. Get rid of it in creative mode. Save. Now I creative Duke. He's already creatively. Survival Duke. Creative Duke. It's gone. Survival again. He has a fresh new one. TP Duke to me. I punch him once. He disconnects. Why? Why just this item? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. There's no reason. What? Chad, if you got any ideas. Okay. Let's go back to the items, the global item settings. Unclick and reclick that. Clear delay. <gasps> There's a delay. No delay. I mean, I could just make every it clear on everything because it'll automatically re-give it. Just to apply to the clear items triggers, such as odd bypass. Nothing, nothing. Blacklist. Material slots are item names to be blacklisted from being cleared. Why is it... This is, like, default. <gasps> it was blacklisted! Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Wait, that means if I go back all the way back and I go to the settings and I go to combat and I go to combat log punishment and I go to come uh and I go to I go to inventory reaction, I go I make it go NPC and I make the NPC a player. There's no way. I hit Duke. Duke disconnects. I kill Duke NPC. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. We fixed it. We fixed it. One more test. Duke disconnects. The items have been cleared. Duke reconnects. The items are back. Yes! 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 Oh my god, thank fucking god. That was such a nightmare. That was such a nightmare. Rip Duke of Ash. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's fixed! Oh my god. We have a functional system. We have a functional combat log system. We have a functional combat log system. It just works. Disconnect. There's an NPC. You kill the NPC? There's like a weird delay for some reason. But you kill the NPC? Here, let, let's let's like well, we're gonna double check this too. So let's let's give Duke uh acacia pressure plates. Just a million acacia pressure plate. Can't give okay. Can't give more than sixty. So we'll we'll do sixty four hundred. There there. Give him just so many acacia pressure plates, and then TP him here, and then punch him, and he disconnects, and he kills NPC. 
and only the pressure plates come out. The only, the only thing to fix now is uh, I can't hit the NPC with the weapons. And I don't know what's up with that. Oh, here's a, here's a test, actually. Here's something to figure out. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure plates. What happens if I combat log Duke and then TP Duke to me? He's not real. He's he's not real. Okay, cool. No idea how they did that. That's pretty fancy. Okay. We're getting there. Now, we still have to fix one last little detail. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Had some trouble for a sec there. Uh, and that is that I can't attack the... Uh, respawn NPC with my, my sword and, until the stab hit. But problem is I can't just rely on the stab hit and call it a day because uh, if I give myself a maul, uh, this doesn't have a stab attack and it'll only ever do this. It'll only ever do that. So, and also the, um, pretty sure the ax can't attack either. Oh, okay. It's, it's timed. Good to know. For the best. It should be timed. Alright. Pretty sure the axe can't attack at all. Yeah. Okay, so we have to fix that. But that's fixable. That's something we can do. That's something I can work on and I can fix. I don't even know where to start with it. But it, I, I imagine it's fixable. Whoa. Whoa, that mall is perfectly in the... Wait, why can't I... Oh, it's netherite! That's right, because it's it's technically netherite. Um, I'm gonna integrate a mode. We're gonna clear it that way. Sorry, it doesn't look like netherite, but it's it's technically netherite under the hood. Um, if I hover over it, you can see it's a Minecraft colon netherite sword. Uh, okay. Well, do kick it out of here. That's all tested up. What a beautiful day that we've had today. So much progress. Oh, you know what I need to do is um keep the quest item in creative mode. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to get rid of it. Maybe maybe in the future someday when I'm testing something, I'll be really regretting it. So we'll we'll just make this. Uh, we'll go to modes, 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 limit modes, and unlimit it. Perfect. And now if I go between survival. And creative. It stays perfect. And then also, um, if I were to die and have this weird bug happen where it fills my, it stacks my items, I think if I disconnect and reconnect, yeah, it'll fix it. Cool. <laughs> All right. Why can't I pick these up? Why can't I pick these up? <laughs> Hello? Dude, what? Okay, we're good. Let's just get rid of these. Sorry, Test Gela. I'll let you on fire for a second there. What? When? Since when did they like light on fire? Oh, oh God, Test Gela, get out of here. Since when did they actually light on fire for a minute? Was that always a mechanic? They actually like take a second to burn. I thought they just insta disappeared. Anyway. So much good has happened today. I'm so happy to get that combat log system working for the most part. I'm going to actually have to reach out to the developers, I think, for the combat part of it um, to work, like to be able to attack the NPC. I don't know why that doesn't work. But let's test a couple. Actually, you know what? We're going to test a couple more things. There's a couple more things I do want to test. Let me reboot Duke for a minute. Because there is a couple things that we could maybe do to temporarily fix this or something. So, first off, give me that head. Give me the Holy Dyer. There's another stack of Acacia pl Wait. No, they're gone. That was weird. I don't know why I couldn't pick those up. I can pick them up when I... Oh, I did pick these ones up successfully. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Yeah, I, I'm aware. Okay, so. Let's go to DC menu. Settings, combat, combat log punishment. What if I change the NPC type? 
to something else and keep its AI on. We'll make it a, a cod. We'll make it a cod. Um. Oh god, quick, 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 quick. Fuck. Yeah, I can't attack it. That's so weird. I wonder why that is. And just to like make sure I'm not going crazy, uh, spawn cod, uh, spawn mob cod, cod? Hello? Wait. Um, wait, why is this spawning my mythic mobs? Wait. What's this command to spawn? Summon. It's summon. I'm not cod. What? I think that was a hitbox thing. I think that cod is just small. Wait. Am I going crazy? Ow. Wait, that's a... Oh, I can't hit this guy! Wait, what's going on? Wait, why can't I hit that guy? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a damn. Wait, 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 wait. What? I've never had this happen before. Can I not fight you? No, I can fight you just fucking- Wait. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't tested the axe a lot. Is the axe hitbox just fucked? X is fine. Small hit. I might ex I may make this hitbox bigger. It is really easy to miss with the axe. Although the axe is the highest DPS weapon if you hit with it consistently, so maybe maybe that's a good thing. Hey, why did that one miss? I'm gonna have to fuck around with the with the axe hitbox. Yeah, that's a little off. That's a little off. Um, okay, back to this testing. It's a skeleton. Ooh. Wait, no, that works fine. You're just, you just had iframes because you're on fire. Okay, enough testing with the axe. Okay, we know that the axe hitbox is fucked. I gotta fix that later. That's fine. Now I give Sophie Baby a sword. Okay, just a test. Time set. Nine. Seven. Eight skeletons. I did just clean miss that one, you could see. Okay. So that's working. Oh, I'm bleeding. So just to like quad quadruple check, right? I got a little distracted there. Punch, disconnect. Wait. Wait, I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. So... What's going on? I'm so confused. Maybe I shouldn't have used a COD. Maybe a COD was a bad choice. It's got a weird hitbox. Uh... Yeah, maybe we don't do a COD. Maybe we do a... What's an easy thing to hit that won't run away? Easy to hit, won't run away. Or at least won't run away very fast. Tadpole? Wait, there's tadpoles! Oh my god! Wait, that happened in 1.19.4? I don't even know that. Wait, what if I do do an armored stand? That actually could be perfect. If the armor stand works, I'd be very happy. Yeah, obviously not. Wait, how do you even break an armor stand? I can't even do that with regular weapons. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Don't use. Okay, good to know. Don't use the armor stand. Oh, it's like stuck here too. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay, armor stands are broken. Good to know. Good to know. Hey, we learn more about this plugin every day. Why is that an option if it doesn't work? Okay. Type. 
We'll make it a fucking villager. Make it a villager. Actually, Peglin would probably be the easiest to fight. I think those are the, the easiest guys to fight. That won't, like, run and... Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Disconnect. You're a piglin. Okay. That works. So it's just their fake players, I think, that don't work. So that's good. So worst case, I could always do, like, an NPC replacement. Um, I, hell, I could probably even do a custom NPC. I know for a fact I could make a custom NPC out of this. I could do something silly like, oh, ghost of disconnected player or something like that. The only downside is it doesn't, it doesn't retain the health stat. That's not a big deal. Okay, so... What if I turn off their AI now? Because that was my initial hypothesis, was keeping the AI on was important, but it might not be. So punch, disconnect. So you have no AI. And I can hit you! What the fuck? Okay. And I'm just going to try one more time. Combat log. Uh, NPC type. Player. Just to make sure I wasn't just crazy. Disconnect. Yeah, okay. Hey, we learned! So much learning today. So much learning, and so many Duke corpses. This is the, uh, this is the, the cost of progress, friends. A bunch of dead Dukes. What do I do about this? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, I'm not in survival. That's why. We're good. We're good. Well! Player's Lingering Will. Wait, that's actually so good. If I could do that, I would love that. I would love for that to for that to be what it does. Um I might I might I might steal that if I can make it work. Okay, so we have a combat log procedure. That's awesome. Duke, your your account is officially uh it is is done everything that it can for us for now. Thank you so much. Thank you, darling. I love you. I love you. Thank you for being my sacrificial lamb. Any Hi. All right. Well, next on the docket, uh, off stream, I need to adjust the permissions. I'm not doing that on stream, so I can't use the, the teleport to base in here. That's easy to do. Um, I might even make a black and white version of it uh, that appears. Wait. Yeah, why don't I just do that? Yeah, hang on. I can do that on stream. Here. Image adjustments. Uh, desaturate. We'll we'll darken it a little bit. And go to uh, 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 brightness and contrast, and like darken it a little. And then save that. PNG. We'll make this uh, house UI disabled. And then we will go into our, uh, I think I closed this a long time ago. No, I didn't, it's right here. Make a house UI disabled. Dot JSON file, JSON. And then replace this with that and save it. And go to here and go to here and do this. And do this, do this, and 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 then do this, and then do, uh, Can I, like, make a copy of an item? That would be really nice if I could duplicate an item. I don't think I can. Yeah, there's only delete and settings. That's a shame. Okay, create an item. Uh, gray candle. Now you get to see how I do this in total. 
which is nice. Single slot. Put it in slot 17. Uh Oh, boy. Here we go. Data. Model data. Oh, shit. Hang on. It's got to be one, two, three, six. Here we go. One, two, three, six. Back. Uh, and item flags. We want it to not be stackable. Uh, we want it to be uh not a hat we wanted to you know what yeah close the inventory when you click on it i'm cool with that uh overwrite i mean that shouldn't matter but yeah uh vanilla vanilla ip limit wait actually yeah okay IP limit unbreakable. I mean, fine. Why not? Hide flags. Yes. Hide that. Hide that. Hide that. Hide everything. Prevent everything from happening. Cancel equip. Uh, doesn't need to be a dynamic. Prevent to storing it. Uh, keep it on death. Drop it on death. And by that, I mean, don't drop it on death. Prevent it from being dropped. Or modify it or repair it or craft with it. Yeah, cancel events. There's oh, there's more. There's another page of flags. I didn't even know this. Ah, selectable. That's what we wanted. This has like more options than normal. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways. Um, and then we want to, it's looking like this cause I haven't updated the texture pack. That's fine. We want to go to enabled worlds and we want to enable this in Tarkov. And then we want to go to disabled worlds and disable it everywhere else. I think that's everything we need. Save F3T. And now, uh oh, I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. It works, but uh, what did I do wrong? It's middle one of these six. What did I do wrong? I broke great candle. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Comma mistake, comma fuck up. Point and laugh. There we go. So now we go here, it turns into this. We go here, it turns back into this. We go here. Didn't work. It's supposed to gray itself out. Oh, there we go. It just took a long ass time. Oh, and now it's gone. Wait, what? 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 Okay, now it's working. What did I do? It's just gone again! What is this happening? Hang on. Wait. Huh? Maybe we don't some of these because i don't I, I don't i don't need to do those what did i do wrong on here modes probability item flags What did I do wrong? What? It's giving me this again. Oh, 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 I, duh. I know what the issue is. It's fucking giving me this. Hang on. Enabled worlds, disable this in Tarkov. Disabled worlds, disable this in Tarkov. And then I also have to do that for the, uh, for the other one. A uh, duh. 
They didn't exist when I was making this. Uh, enabled worlds is that. Disabled worlds is... Uh, actually, that should, should be fine. So now... Now! Yeah, sorry, it was fighting. It was fighting trying to give me two items at once. Yay! Now, now it just closes my... Bro. <laughs> Where is it going? It's back! <laughs> what? Wait. What the fuck is happening? It's like when I move my screen, it... Like, if I don't move, it stays. But if I move, it disappears. What the fuck? Is it just rapidly giving it and getting rid of it every time I do something? Is is anything being printed to the console? No. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> okay, hang on. No, it's it's only the one we made. There is no base gate great candle runcosis. It's uh it's just the setup for it. What the fuck is happening? Overwrite true. Auto remove when entering or joining a world that is not defined. Yeah. Closes the end. Get rid of that. Maybe that's what's causing it. I'll make it play a sound later. Like, uh -uh. IP limit, vanilla control, hide flags. Keep it on death. Can't place it. Prevents it from being moved or switched. That's on. Can't be equipped. It's not animated. It's not dynamic. Prevent the storage of any items in any containers. That's true. What the fuck? Drops it full. Move to the next. Give to the next. Splittable. I mean, I'll enable that. I'm so confused. I have no idea why I would have been doing that. It's only enabled in this world. It's disabled in those worlds. It does have the region triggers. Hang on, I gotta turn these off. Oh, 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 I see what the problem is. Figured it out. I forgot to give it its triggers. I forgot to give it its triggers. Okay, that's gotta be it. So now if I leave, now if I come back, it's here, move around, it's not disappearing. I did it! <laughs> okay, that was so, <laughs> okay, that was so confusing. Yay, okay, so now, I couldn't right click, click the button. When you're here, it's lit up and you can use it and you can go here and then it changes to this. It's a little delayed, that's fine. But you go here, that's great, you can't use it. Thank God. All right, now I just have to find out how to name these because for some reason, see how this is called quest items? If I go to name this this one and I hit name, nothing happens. And I don't know what's up with that. So I'm gonna have to report that bug, but it's not called scaffolding anymore. <laughs> it's just called gray candle. See, these are called locked slot. I don't know why this, I, I can't name it. Maybe I can, maybe that's like a modify. Oh boy, I'm not, I'm not fucking with commands. Anyways, thank Goodness gracious, look at that. We've got ourselves a fucking UI. Oh yeah, I may as well show this also. Um, so when you first join, uh, if I go island disband, no, I can't do that. Uh, admin disband, Sophie baby, and I disband my island. So when you first join, if you click it, uh, it creates your island and this is what it looks like. And it creates it here. And that's why we can see that because um, that, uh, I think I was still editing. I'm still editing the, the, the area. Um, there's also a border that you can enable. Wait, no, you can't because I disabled it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but it used to have a visible border, but I got rid of that. Um, yeah, that, that should go away automatically. If I go back and then disband it and then create a new one again. 
Yeah, this, so that's just an old piece of... So it, it should delete them. That one's from when I was editing the ranges, ranges. So if I go admin bypass and then go to creative and I give myself a wooden axe and then I click here and then I click down here and I go uh, replace with air. And then that... Ah! And then that should fix it. And then we... Remove the bypass. So the way this is going to work is when there's multiple players. Oh, I should bring Duke back in for this, actually. Um, the way this will work is when there's multiple players, you'll actually see each other. Now, they're they're extra close right now, which is a temporary thing. Uh, down the line, it'll be kind of like off in the distance. But you'll actually see your neighbors, which I think is a really cute little thing. You'll see each other's. I, I'm going to redesign these to look like little end islands. Um, it takes place on the moon, not the end. So, you know. I'm going to have to find a way to explain that. Maybe the moon's blown into chunks or something. But uh, so, yeah, Duke joins and, and makes an island. This is what the border looks like. This is what it normally looks like, um, which I didn't realize that wasn't disabled by default. Uh, it's fine. I'm going to replace it with a texture pack. I'm going to get a resource pack. I'm just going to make this effect invisible. But yeah, there we are. Wait, we're out. Wait. Wait. I think I made them spawn too close to each other. I'm just floating there. I leave and come back. Wait, what the fuck? What's going on here? There's dissonance. I can't leave. What? I can't leave. This guy's reconnect. Oh! Hi. Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> Well, that's a problem. Oh, I know why it teleported me there. Okay, that's fine. I can fix that. Um, but why is it... Wait, why is this my... Oh my god, it's such a good thing we tested this. Why is... Huh? Hang on. Okay, now no now nobody has an island. And just to like really make sure nothing happens, I'm going to go what the fuck? I'm going to go to oh god, what's it called? Superior Island. I think it's called. Nope. Superior world. That's fine. Nope, nope. Da, 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 da. Shit. <laughs> Hang on. You confirm. Okay. Okay, there's no more islands here. They got deleted properly. Okay, so now... Oh, that's interesting. It didn't replace my thing. Um, now... When I go to Duke... When I make an island... This is my island. And when Duke makes an island... This is Duke's island, and it's cutting my island in half, and it's it's still oh god. Okay, wait, no. Okay, we have our own islands now. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. That's fine. It cutting itself in half. I know why that's happening. I just have to make the islands spawn farther apart from each other. We have our own islands now. That's that's good. Hi, Duke. Yeah, okay, okay. Crisis averted. I can fix that. I can fix that. We're good. That was scary for a minute. I thought the plugin was broken. <laughs> oh, Duke of Ash is offline. Wait. Huh? Wait. What just happened? Wait, what was that? Wait. 
Why is Yuka Villager? Huh? Oh, that used to happen. Remember, players used to get replaced by villagers? Yeah, but that's not the thing anymore. What? Well, am I going to get replaced by a villager? No, because I'm an admin. Wait, 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 wait. Meet me. Duke, meet me at the hub. What's going on right now? What the fuck? Oh my god, is this a weird thing with this plugin? Invalid player data. So I imagine this only happens on the island, right? Why is that a thing? Both go to our islands. And Duke disconnects. Yeah, that's just a weird... What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I do want people to be able to see their neighboring islands, uh, Stella Kitty. I was just saying that earlier, that I do want that to be a thing. So why, though, is that? I, I think that's just a feature of this I didn't know about. So, okay, time to go to de to go into the settings. What the fuck? We're gonna go, f we're gonna go look into this. What the hell is that all about? Why would you make that a mechanic? That has to be Superior Skyblock doing that, right? I look up Villager. The only thing that's about Villager is the ability to do Villager trading. If I look up NPC, I log out. Log. What? It's not in here. I'm going to the Discord. Hang on. I, I should be in their Discord. Where is it? Is this it? This is it. Hang on. I'm gonna look up the word villager. I don't know why the villager thing is happening, Stellar Kitty. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna restart the server. <laughs> I'm gonna pray that this is some weird issue with combat logging. Because I have no fucking clue what's happening right now. Rerun the server. Where's my Minecraft? There it is. Wait for that to restart. That'll take a little bit. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. A little bit longer. See, this is the normal development pipeline. Constantly being confused, this is normal. Takes a little bit to boot up. Normal, this is normal. Oh, it is taking its time. It's not broken, is it? Nah, it's fine. This is the first time in a long time I've opened the server while live. So I'm just I'm just anxious, that's all. Okay. Oh god, those are back. What the fuck? Okay. So when Duke disconnects, yeah, Duke is a villager. Okay, so. Duke disconnects here. Uh oh. Why though? Why though? Why though? They're not set to be a... Why though? What is this? Who's this villager? No! <laughs> it's dropping the evil items! Who is this?
I need survival. It's going. Invalid player data. What? I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to set my items real quick. Good. What if I go here? What? What's happening? This isn't combat log, because it doesn't look like that. What is this villager? What's happening? What's happening? Who are you? Who are you, Eyeless Villager? The Eyeless, because of a f I have a fucked up texture pack. That's that's not, that, that's not normal. This isn't like some ARG shit. Uh, let's let's pull that off. There we go. I don't have Optifine. Why? And re-log in. It puts you back where you were too. What the fuck? The weird thing, too, is if I hit Duke and then Duke logs out, then it is a, a fake Duke player. It doesn't do a villager. So it's not like it's not double stacking up. What the fuck? Let's turn this into a villager real quick. Villager. See, yeah, it, it the name doesn't say offline, and it's in white. Also, Duke's bleeding. No bandage. Oop. What the fuck? Who's this? Give an offline. Okay, hang on. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. F I'm not getting distracted. I okay, there's something I have to test. Um, we're gonna... Do I have end islands? I have to. We're gonna go into creative. Whoa. Yeah. We're gonna TP Duke to me here. It's just, it's dimension based. It's dimension based. So it only is happening... What the fuck? Oh, it's just because I was in creative. Okay. He's, oh, I thought it's going. Ah! Okay. Why does this happen to you? That's true. I can't hit you in here. Okay. What the fuck? What plugin is doing this? Do I have another combat log plugin just that I forgot about? No, but this isn't combat. Why are you turning into a villager? Hang on, hang on. Another thing I can check. Another thing I can check. Wait. What is player npc.jar? What the fuck is this? Wait. Hang on. That might be it. Allows you to create your own npc per player. Commands npc. When did I install this? No, this is citizen. Hang on. What are the commands? NPC lib. Nope. Oh, two? Wait. What? Personal. Okay. Oh, NPC personal. What? 
Wait, what is this plugin? Hang on. I think this is just, I think this plugin is just how test scale exists. I don't think this is it. Let's check, hang on. Maybe this, maybe this is it. Maybe it has like, this as like a, a default thing and I've just never noticed somehow. Skin update. Gaze update. You know what? There's one easy way to test this. We're st we're gonna st we're gonna get rid of the plugin and just see if that's causing it. That'll do it. This is the wrong folder. Okay, player NPC. We're gonna just disable it. And then rerun the server. This is so confusing. This is why I'm happy to have multi MC though, because I can I can test all this. Like we would never have known. Uh, hang on, I gotta get rid of my display capture for a second. Yeah, we're good. What is going on? <laughs> There's a ghost villager taking over my husband's body. All right, this is going to take a while to load up. I'm glad we did this stream today. I'm glad that we did this today because I probably wouldn't have done these tests and stuff if I was just on my own sim and I never would have found this bug and it would have bothered me way down the line. But now we get to do it together. All right, is it up? Yes. Test Gill is somehow still here. So clearly player NPC wasn't important for that. Okay, it's not player NPC. What the fuck? All right, there's other things we can test. Uh, well, any, I mean, an easy one to test is um, the Skyblock mod. So let me... Re-enable player and PC. I'm sure this is useful for something. I'm sure I have that for a reason. It's probably a dependency. Turn off superior sky block. Rerun the server. What the hell, man? This is like, like, like weird. Like this is super weird. I have no idea what could be causing this. It's dimension specific too, which means it has to have a config somewhere. What the fuck? All right, it's just about up. Oh, I just saw it. <laughs> I just saw the beast for a second there. Yeah. So it's not, it's not this. I mean, that's good, I guess. What the fuck is causing this? Okay, what other plugins could even cause this? Quest? Probably not. SMP Tweaks is a generalized plugin. Let's put that on our suspect list. SMP Tweaks. I don't remember everything it does, but... Mimic, maybe? I don't actually remember what Mimic is. I know it's a dependency. Um, let me go look that up real quick. It's like an RPG API. Levels XP, classes, inventory, items. Yeah, okay. It's just an API. It's not going to be it. Uh... What the fuck? I can't think of anything 
It's not multiverse, right? It's gotta be SP tweaks, I guess. SMP tweaks. What do you do? One plugin for every survival suit who needs custom death logic, modified day night cycle, change mob spawning behavior, easy way to add custom crafting recipes, various other tweaks. I don't see anything about spawning an NPC when you're dead. I mean, let's just disable it and find out. What am I even doing with SMP tweaks? Like, what, what, what? Let me look at the settings for this. What? What does this do? Does this do anything for me? Wait, actually, this could be it. Hang on. Crafting recipes, creeper grief, enderman grief, auto craft, auto trade, better lead, chunk loader, custom potions, disable invulnerability, drop curse, pumpkin, entity limit, XP bottles, fast curing, funny messages, global trading, gravity control, head drops, no arrow infinity, uh, no no too expensive prevent drop centering pvp pvp drop inventory repair with exp respawnable dragon egg shrieker can summon none of this am i using this entire plugin just to disable the infinity enchantment which i'm already going to be getting rid of why am i using this plugin why am i using this plugin okay let's disable this I don't think this is going to be causing it, though. What else could be causing it? Like, nothing is the thing. Like, I I outright disabled all my... the ones that I thought were the culprits. Did I do something with item join? Item join can't summon an NPC, can it? Fuck it, disable it. All right, let's not do too many at once because then I'll be confused as to what's causing it. We run. I'm so confused. I gotta watch this to make sure to, because I'm pretty sure adding dot disable to the end of a plugin disables it, because it's not a dot jar anymore. Um, but I also gotta watch, make sure it's not somehow figuring out, oh, that's supposed to be a plugin. Let me fix that for you, ma'am. Now it should let me join. I'm I'm lost. I'm lost. Who's doing this? Oh god. Wait, actually it shouldn't matter cuz item joins. Yeah, gone. What the fuck, man? Wrong one. Have we tried disabling, um, I don't think we have. Let's disable Deluxe Combat. Disable that. Nope. Hang on. Dot to disable, please. Yes. Put down the server, boot it back up. I'm so confused. <laughs> this is like funny. I'm gonna like Google real quick. I'm gonna Google if anybody else has experienced it. Okay. Minecraft server, villager, player logout offline game. Uh, Minecraft serve. 
server offline NPC. Villager. I can't find anything on this. Yeah. Good to join. Good to join. It is deluxe combat. What did they, what? What did I, okay. <laughs> what did I select? Okay, okay, that's good. We know, we know now. We know now, we know now. Christ, of course it's deluxe combat. All right, we fix this. And then I think that's the stream. That's so funny. What did I select? Does anybody in chat like, did anybody see it? Did anybody see it happen? Did anybody see me like like casually click a setting without thinking about it? And then you're like, oh, she fucked up. Like, why is it a villager? I'm so confused. That explains why it wasn't um, creating the villager when you were in combat, though. Honestly, I should have checked that one first. I think it's funny that some of the Minecraft songs are so much louder than other ones. Okay. So. Duke died for some reason. <laughs> I don't even know why. All right, disconnect. Yep, that's a villager in PC. Okay, so you see, oh, you want to know why Duke died? It's because the villager wasn't here and it was supposed to be here. That's funny. Okay, settings. Maybe in like general. I mean, you know what I could just do. Oops, sorry, I bumped my mic. Uh, does that do it? No, what? Uh, okay. I thought I could just easily solve this by disabling it in any world that wasn't the PvP world, but I guess not. Um, okay, let's try first off. If I disable combat log punishment, combat log punishment. Okay, so that's that's good to know. That doesn't fix it. So reactivate combat. Wait. I think I hit the wrong one. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was clicking the wrong thing. Okay. So it's not that. Ghost players. Spawns a ghost of the player that has logged out. Oh. <laughs> we solved it! <laughs> that was... Uh, well, there we go. Okay. I don't know how that got activated. But I guess we fixed it all along. Thank God. Now I'm going to push Duke off the island and get him killed. Because his island's cut in half and so he can fall out. Hi, Duke. Just kidding. He's back. <laughs> Let's call the stream. That was a very productive stream. Thank you all so much for joining me on, on my first dev stream in a long time. I don't know how frequent I'm going to make these dev streams because it is very hard for me to actually like develop and perform at the same time. And I, even if I like was just like, oh, I don't need to perform. I could just like, like I, I could like I when I'm live, I have like an anxious need to perform. Uh, so let's go and pop a raid over. Let's go raid Val, who's playing Voices of the Void. Now, spoiler warning, if you have not seen Voices of the Void, if you have not played it, uh, I highly recommend not watching this stream. Not to push you away, because, you know, it's so important, and I want to, you know, push people over to Val. But 
if you plan on playing Voices of the Void, it is very much a game that is uh, reliant on you not knowing anything about it. So if you plan on playing it, get out of here right now. Otherwise, go say hi to Val. And our raid phrase is going to be, um, um, uh, 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 we, um, um, offline in brackets. Everybody copy and paste that into Val's chat. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you for supporting me here. Uh, while I do this, I, I'm really happy to be working on this again. Like, seriously, it's it's been so, 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 so much. Yeah. It's been too long. Uh, hopefully I don't have another catastrophic bad thing happening to make me decide against working on this forever. <laughs> have a good rest of your day, everybody. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I'm either going to be doing Voices of the Void or I'm going to be doing Minecraft Hardcore again. One of the two. So I will see you all for that tomorrow. And then Monday, we're going to be doing uh, Into the Radius 2.